Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a makeup haul because I broke my no buy. Start with the purchases that sent everything snowballing downhill and I cannot be blamed for my behavior because these are beautiful and I needed them. I really did need them. The Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation was released in Australia this month. I'm pretty sure it was this month, so we got it a little bit later than the US and the rest of the world. I got a sample of it. I loved it. I needed it immediately, so I have this. I know that a lot of people like because it's glass. Um, they're like, it's not good for travel. Mommy. Connor? Cool. Awesome. I just went to the bathroom. <laughs> Take two. I know that a lot of people say that this isn't good for traveling. I have two small children, as you can tell. I don't go anywhere alone. Um, so I don't think I'll have a problem traveling because I haven't traveled in so long. So the glass packaging doesn't really bother me. I am going to be doing a full uh, review and my thoughts on this one. So I won't clog up too much of this video with it. But when I got that foundation, I decided that I also wanted to try the Veil setting powder, but I didn't want to commit to the large one because I'm not really that into loose powders. Just really cute, travel friendly because it's plastic if you do travel, if you go places. Um, and I'm really enjoying this. I think that it looks so pretty. It gives the most amazing finish on the skin. Like seriously, Hourglass has definitely become my favorite brand. I love Hourglass so much. I've not tried anything bad from them and I've got plenty more in this box from Hourglass. Let's get to that. Also in the same day that I got the powder and the foundation, I picked up this confession lipstick in the shade I Woke Up. I was DMing with Chanel Temple, who is the global makeup artist for Hourglass on Instagram. And she was like, you would look really pretty in this color. And you know what? I do. Another day when I was out and about, I couldn't help myself because I am still working on my team project pan item, which is a Muramura Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. So I decided to buy a bronzer from Hourglass because why not, obviously. This is in the shade Luminous Light. Oh my God, so pretty. But wait, there is more Hourglass. For International Women's Day, which was March 8th, if you didn't know, Hourglass ran the Ambient Challenge and I won. I won the Ambient Challenge. I had a photo with my kids and I said in my best light, I am a mother and well, you know, that's I won. I was so excited, honestly. Oh my god. Like I cried when I got the box and I still haven't used the products because I'm just like so overwhelmed by them. It's the ambient light correcting primer. I have mine oh well I was sent mine in the shade dim light, which is kind of the yellow undertone one. I do have dim light powder in my ambient edit volume four. Some people can actually use this as like an all-over sort of look, which is really exciting. Other thing, oh my god, when I saw this, I was like Hey! This is the ambient lighting powder in Mood Light, which is like nowhere in Australia. It sort of has this pinkish lavender tone to it, which is obviously going to cancel out like sallow tones. They say that it's the most flattering light to be in in the Mood Light. So stay away from me, husband. <laughs> Flower Beauty has only just launched recently at Chemist Warehouse in Australia. So if you're in Australia and you want to try some Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore, so beautiful. I used to like want to be her when I grew up. Um, her makeup range, I'm actually wearing the colors today. I've kind of diffused it a little bit. It's in the shade Peach Posy. It is quite like, it looks similar to that, but it's really not. This is definitely more of like a pinker undertone lighting, of course. I had my eye on this palette for a long time from Sports Girl. Love me some Sports Girl makeup. Even $9.95. I think that I got it for like maybe $5.50. Well, the mirror is huge. The mirror takes up that whole top thing, but these are the shades and these are eyeshadows. I think that they're so pretty. They don't have shade names or anything, but like these two colors especially really spoke to me. They looked super pigmented when I swatched them. So I think that they'll be really, really fun of getting things at a really good price the most exciting thing that happens to australian beauty junkies is the priceline 50 percent off makeup sale i'd say the priceline is kind of like our qvs you know like it's a um, pharmacy and it does makeup and skincare and things like that sort of on like the lower end of the spectrum like drugstore prices obviously um so i picked up a few bits and bobs from there and i'm really excited i will show you them these were all half price and some of them were already in the reduced to clear bin so like it was half price off the top of that which was insane I had my eye on this one for a while it is the dream matte blush from maybelline it's in the shade burgundy flush terrifying i do love these colors though like my favorite blush of all time is crimson from nyx so when i pop it on my finger it looks like that but when you blend it out it just it's this like beautiful just like you know kind of not bruised but like it's just the most rich gorgeous oh look at that over the top of mood light from hourglass that is so pretty oh my gosh 
Oh, I can't wait to play with that, seriously. Oh. This one's a bummer. It's a product that I'm gonna have to return because when I pulled it out of the box, it was broken. But it is the NYX um, 3-in-1 Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Taupe. It's like a really cool concept, and you know, it was only like a couple of bucks. So the pencil's broken, but you have the pencil there, so that's really cool. And it's like it's super long, like for a brow product. And then in here, is some powder. I had spoken about this shade when I was talking about my other metallics. It's the Guns N' Rose petals that's in my Team Project pan. I will be filming an update for that next week. I mentioned how much I loved this shade name just because I love the artist. It is called Lana Del Grey and it's this like really kind of pretty blackened grey sort of purple and it just blends out really nicely. It's not as pigmented as Guns N' Rose petals, but that's okay because a little bit of this stuff goes a really long way. It's like a glossy kind of dark look and I really like that. It's very unique to my collection. I don't have anything like it and I love Lana Del Rey so I had to buy Lana Del Grey. I am a little bit more obsessed with astrology than the normal person it should be. So when I saw this, uh, I think this is from Savvy Beauty, yeah it is, the Stargazing Collection I think that it's just called. Um, this is in the shade, oh my gosh, I'm so blind. How am I gonna be able to see this? Hold on. So this one is like a loose glitter pot and it's in the shade Star Sign, which I thought was really cool. It's a loose highlighter, so it's a little bit different. It's sort of like a lavender kind of shift. There we go, that's probably better. Yeah, it's like a lavender shift. It matches my shirt and kind of my bedding, so that's great. And it's in the shade Karma. Also from NYX, I got this Wonder Pencil. Um, it's just like, you, it's like a multi-use sort of thing, but I'm gonna use it for my inner tear duct. Um, just because small hooded eyes and I like to kind of open them up a little bit. I don't have anything that's sort of in that beigey kind of family. I do have a white one, which with a lot of looks can be quite stark. So I just thought that this one would be a really good addition to my collection. This makeup item that I got was this Scandalize Rimmel. Um, it's waterproof, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the Cole Kajal liner. It's, it's just in the shade brown. I know that Kat from Beauty News and Kitch Snitch, um, uses this and like loved it. I think she panned one and I just think that it's well, it's just not like a black coal pencil because I've got a few of those and I didn't have anything brown. So I thought that these two new pencils were good additions and they're gonna be usable, you know, coming up for just makeup trends and also for what, how I like to wear my makeup and what I like it to look like. I ended up buying three brushes. So <laughs> I bought this one solely because it was like a fan brush. My daughter's sweating on getting it though. She loves unicorns. It came, it was from Models Prepare. It came with a, um, highlighter like the unicorn highlighter the rainbow ones so she's like i really need the unicorn horn thing and i'm like but i want to see how it performs before i give it up but i've got to obviously give it a little bit of a wash first so that was in a pack i don't know if i'm going to be keeping this but i did just want a fan brush i don't have a fan brush please let me keep the fan brush baby girl i've got two brushes from models prefer so this is a highlight and contour brush it does actually have more of a point than this but i've got to wash it and kind of reshape it because it's just been in the plastic bag that it comes in there's a bird what am i fucking snow white this one is just a crease brush to get inside there because you can never have too many of those last brush was just a total impulse buy this is from nude by nature i'm pretty sure Yes, Nude by Nature, and it's just like their powder brush. I think the powder brushes are just great, love them, can never have too many of them. Things that I got at the price line, half price sale. So excited about these, these are Essie polishes. This is in the shade Russian Roulette. It's just a really nice kind of reddish color. I like that noise, so it matches my shirt. It's basically the same color of my shirt if you can't see it guys and it's in the shade sugar daddy thank you so much for watching guys let me know if you've tried any of these products what you have bought recently or if you're still on a no buy how are you going with that because i obviously i didn't do too well i am jealous of you that you had more self-control than me but i am very happy with the purchases that i've made and i will love all of these products if you want to see me use any of these products please rethink that because Remember what happened last time? I'm just gonna link it up there. Like it was absolute pandemonium the last time I tried to use makeup on camera, but I mean, I can give it a red hot crack if you'd like me to try again. If you are new here and you haven't pressed subscribe, please hit the button. I would love to have you around. I am this crazy all the time, I can assure you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Lots of love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah! Bye.